Hello everyone, Manithral here, and welcome to the weekly OA, well, RuneScape 3 episode up, <laughs> weekly update video for RuneScape 3. So today's the biggest news is the fact that the RuneScape iOS closed beta is open. So it's official starting today. Uh, so they're only allowing 999, even though it does save 1,000 spots. Uh, reason being that there is one spot that is reserved for Jagged Staff to do uh, any live testing that is not on their beta end. This way they get a better angle as to how things are going. Uh, Double XP uh, Live is continuing. They did change it from Extended to Live to make it a little bit more easier for people to understand. Uh, Yak Track uh, is actually going to be now also in the odd, odd, uh, yeah, the Oddman store for anyone who has missed it in previous Yak Tracks. So if you do miss anything, keep in mind that it'll probably be in again later on. Patch notes, there is a lot of them going on. Uh, there is an archaeology engagement survey part three. It says the part the third part of their archaeology engagement survey is now live. Uh, they'd appreciate it if we could take a look and tell us your thoughts. Um, it says their aim is to understand uh, if we're they're improving their ways of delivering information to us. Um, so that's actually their main angle. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have a little buddy here with me who's quite um, mischievous. So, the Archaeology X Raver Player Gallery winners are as follows. Uh, first place is HRH Violet, who made a knitted artsy plushy, as you can see down there below. Uh, there's a little clip. It even has the Archaeology cape on the back, which is actually kind of neat. Uh, second place is Zveris. Uh, they did a painting of Everlight. Let's see if I can get that up here, which I believe that is the painting. Looks pretty cool. Uh, raising a uh, Razor Kraken Ultimate Gaming headset was awarded to the two people above, along with six months RuneScape membership. Uh, Bunny Riven's pilot art, a oh, pylon art, also uh, connected to them. So they are walking away with the third place prize, which is this one right here, which is three bonds. And then there is also some uh, runner ups, which is Tez Kits, Incredible, uh, and Kando Pickaxe, which is right here, sorry. And Scarlet's Carrot It Adventure, which is this one right here. Uh, there's also some more notable ones, of course. Uh, which is a new buy in Susie. Um, there's also the Corzor 22550, Caitlin and Will Miller. Uh, they all got bonds. And congratulations on all of you guys for your absolutely fantastic pieces of art. Uh, there's the Mountain. Men I cannot talk tonight, guys. The Mental Health AMAS, which is May 14th at 1800 to 1200 BST. Uh, May 28th at 1800 to 2000 BST, which is the Princess Trust. So live streams is the Ninja Team Q&A, which is May 12th at 1700 BST. And new player experience with Mod Stu, May 14th, 1700 BST. So keep in mind, new players, um, they're probably going to be reworking that here pretty soon. Uh, future streamer is Scary uh, Scardy Ginge at May 13th at 1600 BSD. Now we go on to the patch notes and bear with me guys because there is a doozy. So mobile first up, there is some changes which is the uh, added the ability to sheath and unsheath weapons on mobile with a long press on the combat mode toggle button. Remove the scroll bar for minimized chat view on mobile. Updated the Constitution Skill Guide to remove references to PC terminology as required for iOS. Uh, remove PC terminology from the wardrobe user interface on mobile. Improved clan invite flow for mobile. And mo updated mobile checkboxes on the skill guides to be visually and functionally consistent. Mobile users will now be able to see the previous display name of a friend who has changed their name. Pressing and holding on their name in the friends list will show the tooltip 
and at open more options. Mobile players can now see the animal's traits by long pressing them in the trait menu. I uh, added a check to make the worn equipment stats button on the worn equipment UI only affect the top level versions and not the hero loadout. Uh, further minor tweaks to the layers uh, layout I should say of the clan citadel minigames UI on mobile uh, padded the sizing for longer tooltips on mobile fixed an issue that was preventing the in combat border from appearing while viewing the home screen uh, further improvements have been made to the way object tooltips and objects menus uh, drawn this prevents clipping issues with longer lines of text um, users can now tap on the icon for handicap to see its effects on decide your handicap UI inside the Dominion Tower while using the home teleport spell on mobile pressing and holding on any lodestone will reveal a tooltip with the name and destination fix an issue which caused but the buttons on the friends of chat list to overlap these are just general fixes uh, fix an issue where the friends list was sorted incorrectly resulting in clip text fix an issue with friends and ignore list name sorting both lists can now be sorted independently from one another uh, resolve the minor issue that caused the filter button to be removed when swapping between resize friends and ignore list windows uh, fix an issue that was showing the invention materials pouch button on the backpack prior to unlocking it during the invention tutorial. Fix an issue on mobile which causes the previously selected graphical settings to be highlighted. Fix an issue that was a currencies overlay on the backpack that was causing currencies to appear in a different order on each. Resolve the problem with the player choice options sometimes rendering at an incorrect size fix a performance issue which caused significant frames per second drop after adjusting specific settings on the graphic interface fix an issue that was caused the chat window settings to list to remain open if a user selected my examine settings other <clears throat> changes the bank all option on the tetra compass ancient caskets will now prioritize adding items to material storage above the player's bank. The ancient casket has been added to the archaeology guild office. This casket will temporarily store items from Tetra Compass reward caskets that the player did not have room for. Removed a message which erroneously informed some players that they have Gold Premier Club 2018 rewards left to claim. Hit the clan cap button on the clan chat list as the event is no is long since over. Updated the tooltip for the Dragon Battle Axe special attack to more accurately reflect its effect. Removed the chisel from the room in the Demon Hive where the players must carve a weapon for one of the, each of the three statues. The Barak Museum curator will no longer talk about the expedition to Anachronia as though it is currently happening. Uh, when using a fire, uh, the option to cook food was showing the logs on the icon. This has been updated to the piece of meat instead. Increase the value of certain upgraded items to ensure they're more valuable than their pre-upgraded counterparts. Uh, updated the congratulations message for the Blast of Hellfire. Well, Blast and Hellfire achievement to no longer reference outdated content. We have removed references to the outdated content from the Sparky Skilling Pet. The ability bar tutorial during the Birthorp FTUE now better accounts for players who have unbound their secondary action bar. Added the numerical percentage onto the corrupted debuff icon in the Sophonim Slayer dungeon. At the request of Clue Hunters, a teleport tutorial's previous location in Taverly has been updated to the spell book. It currently uses the troll theme teleport icon. A pile of rubble had, that can be found during the Anakra's Lament quest was allowing players to acquire a large amount of extra fine sand at a much faster rate. A delay has been added 
to put this in line with existing methods of obtaining sandstone. Uh, added examine text to the Raptor's outfit in chest interface. The Slayer Points dummy um, ha items have uh, has been removed from the Grand Exchange search results. Uh, move the old bank area on the branch out of time to the new bank chest location. The energized meteorite shard can now only be bought once until it is used. You can also refund the shard by talking to Ezreal uh, with the shard in your inventory. Fixes. Summoning the spirit rack uh, with a pet override will no longer cause stretching. Scrimshaws of aggression will now work with vile blooms. A script the error that occurred when using Felix as an override for the granite crab and smoke devil familiars have been fixed. An error that appeared when certain members only items were appearing on Treasure Hunter for free to play players has been fixed. Attempting to read the Yak Track task list after the Yak Track event is over will no longer disconnect the player. Fix an issue where the archaeology skill guide information was populating other skill guides, fix an issue that was causing red combat vinay to not appear if the user opened the interface while in combat, and finally fix an issue that caused the level up icon to be partially cropped when opening the full screen interface. That's actually it for today's update, so thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below, and until next time, later guys.